I wanted to build, my uncle owned a portable sawmill. I have popple trees in the back 40, you know, back 40. Called the back 40, I only have 18 acres. Um, but in the back 10, I had big popple trees that needed to come down because they were too big. They were going to fall over in the road. You know, it would be a hazard. But, uh, and they would work fine. They would work perfectly fine for studs to build a home. But the building code said, no, you, you can't use your own wood. Are you crazy? You got to buy... You gotta buy wood at the lumber yard, and you're like, why? Why can't I use my own wood? It's just as good, if not better. Well, because your wood hasn't been stamped and approved by a certified inspector with his stamp on there. And if you don't have stamped and graded lumber to build your home, you can't use it. But. It's just as good. You can see. I mean, you don't need to be some sort of uh, expert. Learning how to grade wood take is, is, is about a three-hour class, honestly. It's not... You could watch a YouTube video and learn how to grade, grade wood. It's not complicated. Um, a lot of it's common sense. Like, oh, there's a big knot in this wood that goes all the way through this board so it's probably not going to be very structurally sound yeah you can get into a lot of detail a lot of, a lot of nuances with it you know what's one grade one versus grade two versus grade three but it really doesn't matter that much as long as you know you, know, you, you take a little time to learn what different knots look like and, and structure issues with a piece of wood, it, it really doesn't take long to learn. Um, <laughs> it's harder to learn to read. But anyway. <sighs> Sorry, rant there. <laughs> okay, so go by, going back to uh, uh, the wood itself, the structural wood. So you can't, even if you've got a portable sawmill, you cut the logs on your own property. You started milling out 2x4s, 2x6s, Whatever you're gonna make for your for your uh, for your stick built house, you can't use it because it's not graded. The, the building code says well, this isn't this isn't gonna work. You can't use this wood. Makes me upset. But anyway, I digress. So what I had to do, I had to borrow money go into debt, put my family into debt, my homestead into debt, to go buy wood at the lumber yard, build my house. And I did. So, and why is that? Because, because some company wrote a building code a hundred years ago with the express purpose of forcing people to use their lumber by making it certified, rated, stamped, and approved. We don't need to put up with that crap anymore. That's why that's, that's one of the major reasons, it's not the only one, but it's one of the major reasons I started doing what I do. We make barns and homes and structures out of rough cut wood. And we don't have any trouble with the building departments. So far, no trouble. Why is that? Because we use large beams and it's a heavy timber construction. So just like a log home, those timbers can be graded by the mill. There's no inspector, there's no stamp guy that'll go around and, and, and grade timbers, you know, six by six, six by 10, you know, 
they're few and far between. Yeah, they're out there. They, they are, there are some that'll go around and do it. But you can get by with with just just a word from the mill that says, yeah, this is grade two rough cut lumber, which is what it says on the plans. And then, and the builder, building inspector says, okay, as long as it works, it's match, it's a match, go for it. It's good. Now, <clears throat> and so far, that has not been, it has not been any trouble at all. Um, people have built homes in some ritzy areas in Grand Rapids. There, we have a barn with, with housing in the, the upstairs in Chicago that, that has, you know, in Chicago. It's attached to a riding arena, it's a big horse barn. People live in the upstairs. And there is not a stick of graded lumber in there. I mean, as far as stamped and approved graded. It's graded. I mean, the sawmill owner, when he saws it out of the log, he's like, okay, so this is number one, this is number two, this is a, this is crap, get that out of here. You know, this is number three, you know, that's not going to work for this project. And, and they have their own system of sorting. You don't need to have an inspector uh, from the accredited um, the accredited uh, agency to inspect every stick of wood. You just it's just not necessary. And for a lot of people, a lot of people are using that as a block to say, "Well, I can't build something on my own land without." having graded lumber because you know it's, it's against the rules you know and people don't want to break the rules yeah I mean I don't want to break the rules either you get in trouble people fine you and do all kinds of nasty stuff to you just because you're trying to make a living without having to go into debt I understand that you know but but the thing is is that if you have a, a set of plans, if you have a set of plans that says number two rough cut lumber, and you take that to building, the building department and say, look, this is this is what I've got, this is what we're going to use, and and the building department says, well, as long as the designer is calling for that, and that's what you're going to use, then there's no issue, you know. You're going to have to do your due diligence. You know, you you're gonna have to go to the building inspector, show them what you're trying to do, and then if they give you any trouble about it, let's say they say, well, this this lumber isn't stamped. Is this lumber stamped? If you can't, if you don't have a stamp on it, then um, then you can't build it. Then you ask them, say, okay, Mr. Building Inspector, I I understand what you're saying. Let me, let me ask you a question. If I was building a log cabin, would this be an, an issue then? Because I'll tell you a secret. No matter how good you are as an inspector, as a grader, you can't possibly grade a log accurately. can't be a hundred percent sure what the st structure inside that log is you can be 70 percent sure you know there's a lot of clues but you you don't know what's going on inside that log so you can't inspect a log you can't grade it i mean you can but you're not fooling anybody you know so if you can build something out of, you can build a house out of logs that are of questionable grade, then you can build a timber frame. And we haven't had any trouble. We haven't. Building inspectors have been fine with it. They have. Maybe we've gotten lucky. But... 
what I think it is is that um, building inspectors in general like to see new things happening. They like to see kind of a new system of of building to take place. They like to see this. It's, a, it, it's beautiful in the landscape, you know. So work with your building inspector, you know. Talk to them. Tell them what you're going to do. Show them a set of plans. And, um, you know, most of the time, 99% of the time, so far 100% of the time, they're, they're going to be willing to work with you so that's my rant for the day um, I, I hope this made sense to you I hope the, you like this video if you need plans to get started with something like this you can find them in the barn plans library there will be a link down below or somewhere on this page uh, to the barn plans library where you can buy plans that you can start this process with it builds something beautiful out of your own timber from your own property. And uh, we'll go into more in-depth into that later in a later video. But um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll talk to you on the next video.